This video shows the integration of Amazon DynamoDB with Amazon EMR. How do DynamoDB and EMR work together? EMR lets you create tables using Apache Hive. These tables can store data natively in an EMR cluster or can be mapped to data stored externally such as in DynamoDB and Amazon S3. External tables enable you to migrate data between DynamoDB and S3 for example, you can export DynamoDB table data to an S3 bucket or load data from S3 to a DynamoDB table, and upload data to a table that stores the data natively in the EMR cluster. Queries on the native data are more efficient for complex queries, business intelligence reporting, or data mining. In the first part of this video, I'll show you how to export data from a DynamoDB table to an S3 bucket. To export the data, we need to create two external Hive tables. One of them will map to the DynamoDB table, and another will map to an S3 bucket where we will store the data. For the first table, we use the Create External Table statement, which creates a Hive table that points to an existing DynamoDB table. The Hive table is called PC DynamoDB, where PC is short for Product Catalog, and maps to the DynamoDB table Product Catalog. The Hive table has the columns ID, title, ISBN, and other values. These columns correspond to the attributes in the DynamoDB table. Now we'll create another external Hive table. This time the table will map to an S3 bucket. The external Hive table name is PCS3 and maps to the S3 object my AWS bucket one slash catalog. Again, we specify the column names and their data types. And, Note we specify row format to request comma separated values in the resulting object. By following the steps in the Amazon DynamoDB developer guide, I already have an interactive Hive session running. At the end of this video, I'll provide a link to a walkthrough with step-by-step -step instructions for you to try it yourself. For now, I'll copy and paste these statements into a Hive session to create our map tables. Now to export our data to Amazon S3, we use an insert statement which selects data from the DynamoDB table and inserts it into the S3 bucket through the map tables. When the insert completes, the data is stored in S3. Let us verify the resulting object in the Amazon S3 console. Notice the comma-separated values. You could import data from Amazon S3 to a DynamoDB table too. This is a useful way to import existing data into a new DynamoDB table or perform periodic bulk uploads of data from another application. And with EMR support for scripting, you can save your scripts and run them on a schedule. Now in the second half of this video, we'll load the data from the external table mapped to DynamoDB into a native Hive table and use the power of HiveQL to get the results of a complex query. This query will be executed on the data stored natively. Uploading data consumes some provision throughput in DynamoDB, but queries on the data stored natively in an EMR cluster don't consume DynamoDB provision throughput. Let's try it. We already have an external Hive table mapped to our DynamoDB product catalog table. Now we only need to create a native Hive table where we will load the data for our query. This statement creates the native Hive table. Notice the external keyword is not used. Then upload the DynamoDB table data into the new Hive table using an insert statement. Our data is now stored in the new Hive table and we can query the data natively. For example, this select statement tells us the number of products in each category. With this select statement, we are querying the data natively in a Hive table and not querying DynamoDB at all. Therefore, we are not using any DynamoDB provision throughput, which can impact the rest of your application. Keep in mind, this demonstration uses one small product catalog table to illustrate the process of querying data stored natively. And you could also query the data from its location in Amazon S3. But for big data analysis, reading the data natively is much faster because EMR is designed and optimized to cost-effectively process vast amounts of data across many tables. If you'd like to try these steps for yourself, 
Go to the following URL.